So this is question number 13 in which we have these a pulley arrangement the ends P and Q of an inextensible string move downwards and both of them move downwards simultaneously with the same speed U and these two pulleys A and B are fixed and then this when you pull this thing the whole mass will go up we need to find out the speed of this mass m with which it goes upward it's a very nice question and we will solve it with two different methods the second method will be using a differential calculus and if you can follow that it will be life will be very easy for you if you cannot but the first method has the advantage it gives you the insight into what is happening into this mass so before i do that <coughs> I would like to explain some of the things because let us say this is the mass, this is the pulley A. We are, we are putting, pulling this, and let us assume this mass M right here. And forget about this right hand side of this pulley and hold the thing. Yeah. This angle is theta. Can make this mass m straight, but does not matter. Now consider what happens if I make this mass, if I pull this mass in this direction, forget about this angle theta here. In fact, I will remove this angle theta here altogether. I I draw a line perpendicular to this line, and I'm trying to pull this mass in this direction which is perpendicular to this line. The string, this whole string is inextensible. Remember this word, inextensible. You, you, cannot, you cannot pull this string to increase its strength. At the same time, the arrangement is such that you cannot slacken this string. And that is the property we are going to use in solving this problem. If I pull this string in this direction and let's say for the moment this is not moving this is not moving we are allowed to pull we have don't have problem this mass will will come here and then we again and then the string will become like this we again can move this mass like this at a direction perpendicular to the line joining this string in this direction and so on and so forth. If we do this, the mass m will move in a circle, but that is not the point here. The point we are trying to make is that if you make this mass move, if you move this mass m perpendicular to this line joining this, we are fine. There is no change in the string. The string's length is not tightened. The string is not get slackened. The string's length does not change. It does nothing to the length of this total length of this string from here to here. But let's consider the other case. You are not pulling it in this direction. You are trying to pull this string a little bit in this direction. Which is not per per perpendicular to this string here. You are trying to pull it in this direction with certain speed. What will happen? A portion of this this velocity, which is a direction, has two components. One of that component, if I call it another angle alpha, and this velocity, let's say uh, p or maybe v, then v cos alpha will have no effect on this string. But this component of this velocity here, if we resolve it and call it v sin alpha this v sin alpha will try to slacken the string the string is like this very tight and this component of the velocity is trying to slacken the string and the only way to not allow the string to slacken is to make it move downwards and if this v sin alpha becomes same as this velocity with which we pull this string downward then the string will remain 
in extensible let us understand it in another way same thing in another way if you don't understand it just reverse this video and watch it again so this was when it was perpendicular i am trying to instead of pulling it perpendicular i am trying to pull it in this direction or maybe this direction only let's say it's been this direction this let's call this direction a v velocity and this is making an alpha like this you can take alpha anywhere doesn't matter and we are trying to pull this mass in this direction then a component of this velocity in this direction does nothing to the f, f, on the string it does not slacken it it does not string it but the component of this velocity along this direction tries to pull this string and if you don't want to break the string the only way this component is v cos alpha here the only way to balance this is to move this string with the same velocity as this v cos alpha this i hope we will use this concept in this problem so let's move on to the actual problem <laughs> let's say this is moving with a velocity u downward this is moving downward with the velocity downward and then because this length this needs to move with u velocity with some velocity v upwards this velocity v has two components one will be perpendicular to this string like this and another will be a component which is in this direction the the, the perpendicular dy perpendicular these two some of these two velocities is v this component has no effect on this string trying to either slacken it or uh, stretch it or slacken it but this component of the velocity is the one which which has to balance in order that the string neither slackens nor gets stretched to be balanced to this u velocity so we will write the, the equation therefore is v cos theta is equal to u or we have to find v so v is equal to u upon cos theta we are using some simple problem i have tried to explain it if not think again take any string like this and this string is you cannot stretch the string you cannot slacken the string and if this point is moving with a velocity v then this point of the string has also to move with a velocity v that is the property we are using if you have not still understood it write down something in the comment and i will try to explain it in other ways and in the second part we will do the problem in another way if you have taken a course or if you have done something in calculus in differential calculus in the second method will also be is very very interesting in the second method let us say this length of this string is l or maybe l1 let us for the simplify let us keep it l you can also take different length l1 and l2 that does not change much and let us say let us say the length of this part of the link string is p and this is p now this whole string is inextensible what does that mean the l plus p this length l plus p plus p plus l is a constant the whole length we are not doing anything very new here it's a very simple thing string is inextensible if this length l increases then the length p will reduce because this will goes up p will reduce this p will reduce 
this L length will increase, but some of these four things will stay constant. What does that mean? 2L plus 2P is a constant L. Now we will use differential calculus here. We can differentiate this equation with respect to time. What will happen? We can say L plus 2P is equal, L plus P is equal to L. And if we do DL upon DT, then this will become DP upon DT. And L is constant and differentiation of a constant with respect to time is 0. This is the equation number 1. What is dl by dt? Change of the length with respect to time. This is the velocity u. So u is equal to minus dp upon dt. This is our equation number 1. Why is 1 negative? Because when u increases, p decreases and that is why the inverse relationship. That is our equation number 1. We need to find out the rate with which this mass is going up and therefore we take another constant, let's call this h which is the height of this mass from this point. And if we can somehow find this dh upon dt, that will be our answer. That's what we are trying to do in this equation. Take a look at this triangle. In this triangle we can write cos theta cos theta is equal to base h upon p. I hope you are trying to find out how we could possibly solve this equation by differentiating this thing. What does that mean? h is equal to p cos theta. We can differentiate this equation as well. dh upon dt is equal to p cos theta differentiation is sin theta minus p sin theta d theta by dt. See, when, when this length is varying, p is varying, h is varying and theta all, angle is also changing. Theta angle is not constant. When it goes up, the theta angle uh, increase, increases, keeps increasing. So p minus p sin theta d theta by dt plus cos theta into d theta by dt. We need to find out dh by dt, the velocity with which this mass moves up. This equation we have cos theta, cos theta dp by dt. We know dp by dt in from this equation but we do not know d theta by dt and for which we need another equation. Let us make this distance x and this x remains constant which means that if we differentiate this one, this will be 0. So Let us put here sin theta. Sin theta is x upon p or p sin theta is equal to x. Now we can differentiate this equation p cos theta into d theta by dt is equal plus sin theta into d theta by dt sin theta into dp by dt is equal to 0. From this equation we get d theta by dt is equal to minus sin theta divided by p cos theta into dp upon dt. So let us substitute d theta by dt from this equation into here. So this becomes minus p sin theta into d theta by dt is minus minus becomes plus and sin theta into sin theta becomes sin square theta divided by p cos theta into dp by dt 
plus cos theta into dp by dt. Instead of uh, I think we are making some mistakes, so let's check it once more. So H is equal to P cos theta dH upon dt is cos theta differentiation is minus P sin theta. Okay, so this minus here and this minus here becomes plus here. Now, this becomes P, P cos theta on the bottom, P, P cancels. Sin square theta, cos theta into cos theta is cos square theta sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so this becomes dp by dt into 1 upon cos theta and dp by dt is minus u so we have dh upon dt minus u upon cos theta and this is our answer this answer is actually better because it says that H is decreasing when U is increasing. So our answer group should be B. Let's check uh, answer here. Question number 13. Answer is B. I hope this helps you. But if you don't understand anything, just write it in the comment section and I'll try to explain it more. I think I took more time than a simple problem like this would take. But you could also probably solve it by doing some, the first method is quicker, but 